Hey guys, this is Andrew with RockClass101.com. Today we're going to be looking at the Reunion Blues gig bag. This is the Continental series, and I've owned this gig bag for three years. So what we'll look at today is the practicality of the bag. We're going to look at what I do not like about it and what I really like about it, and also how it plays a role in my day-to-day -day life as a professional musician. So without further ado, let's get started. So first things first, what I like about this bag is the quality. I mean, it's so padded and protected. The main videos that they do for advertisement show them taking, uh, putting a guitar in the case and actually throwing it out of um, like a second story house or whatnot, and it survives the fall. That's what drew me to this brand initially. But it was more than that too. It was the practicality of this gig bag. You know, how does it affect my everyday life um, with everything that I need to carry? Now it's got a pocket up top right here, and it's just a small little pocket. What kind of things that I keep in this are just going to be like a string cutter and winder. Just little tiny items like that. It's the main reason is because I utilize the big pocket for the majority of items because it's easier to grab things out of. So up top you can already see that I keep a snark tuner. Um, I have the little box of picks that I have inside of here. This plastic bag right there is um, earplugs that I have. Then I keep a can of Altoids, cleaning cloth, and most importantly business cards for every gig that I'm going on. Uh, one cool little feature is that it's got separate section for hanging um, cables. So I usually have two cables. I've got one right now because I don't have a, a gig today. I gotta go teach. And then I have uh, space also for my sta strap. And underneath my strap I always do keep a um, backup cable. So I have a George L rolled up down there. And the pocket under here, I keep extra strings, um, and I also keep a uh, slide in case the gig I'm on calls for that kind of playing. The last big item that I usually carry around is a Bluetooth wireless speaker. So this I use all the time for lessons uh, and for teaching. This is uh, extremely useful for me. Opening the gig bag, we can see how well protected and padded everything is too. Uh, the quality they, they've really worked on. There are a couple things that I really dislike about this case. Uh, the first thing is, it's really a pain in the butt with how they devise this little strap for the neck. Um, as you can see, it's, you have to work to take it off like that. It's just kind of a hassle. The other thing that I really, really hate about this case is it depends on what guitar you're using. As you can see up top here, they have protection um, for the headstock, but if you have a smaller size guitar like my Telecaster in here, the headstocks on like strings five and six ripped a hole into this padded um, velvet protection thing that they have. So what I had to do is I took it to a repair guy so in a leather patch here just to extend the protection. Um, and even the leather patch is getting ripped up and it's, I got this fixed probably a month or two ago. Um, so we'll see if that holds up or not. So that's the biggest design flaw that I see in this case. Other than that, it's been waterproof, it's been shockproof. Uh, I've dropped it on concrete. It's, it hasn't broken my guitar. I think the worst thing that happened is a string popped once. It's been totally worth the money. So I would definitely recommend this case.